The absolute most important thing is officer safety. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. The absolute most important thing is officer safety. People, people, people. Here's another story out of Utah, Ogden, Utah, from Fox 13 News. Looks like Ogden has a dirty department, or should I say, dirty chief. Let me know what you think about this story in the comments. And go over to Fox 13 News and watch all the videos they have on this story. Thanks for watching. Officer Mark Kruger used to work for Ogden PD. The department says he admitted he didn't like to write tickets, so he waited until the end of the year to meet expectations. He likes to wait till the very end of a year to get all of his numbers and stats. And do we technically have something that says you can't do that? No. State lawmakers banned ticket quotas in 2018, but Ogden PD says there is nothing illegal about its point system, which gives more points to officers when they write more tickets. Damn! Kruger's annual performance reviews show he met or exceeded expectations each year. You can go back through every single one of my evaluations, which I believe we're gonna do, where I'm praised for those. But Ogden PD says that is not necessarily why they fired Kruger. In one case, he didn't activate his body camera. And in another case, the chief said he was disappointed in Kruger for taking reports outside of a hospital instead of going inside to get a better understanding of the case. You have never fired an employee for not wearing a body cam on one call, right? Not that I'm aware of. The chief said his biggest issue was the amount of time they found Kruger's car was parked at his house when he was supposed to be patrolling. In response, Kruger said he was writing reports and that he got permission from his sergeant, who was never consulted before the decision to terminate his employment. I went to my chain of command. Okay, but, but you will admit you were parked at your house for over 200 minutes on six of those days. Don't deny it. He also said evidence shows he always responded to calls quickly, but that was not enough for the chief to save his job. In fact, during the interview with you, when you asked him about spending time at home, you indicated there was no policy that says you can't spend time at home. Is that right? I believe so. I believe I might have said that in my, my um, interview with him. This feels like more of a narrative that they're trying to make fit rather than actually find the truth to. There's not a specific description of what it means to patrol your area, but I'm quite confident if you asked all my employees, none of them would say it would be sitting in their driveway. The hearing was on September 18th, but Kruger says he just found out the ruling yesterday. The city has chosen not to reverse Ogden PD's decision, and now he plans to appeal. After his termination, Kruger was hired by the Roy Police Department. Are you told to write more tickets? Yes. We want to be able to do our jobs. Uh, my job's not a, not a tax collector. Ogden police officers say they've been forced to grab their pens and write more tickets, even after the state banned police quotas. We exposed all of it earlier this year. If you don't get a certain amount of tickets, then you may not get your raise. I think that's ridiculous. Drivers feel attacked, but now it's the mayor and police chief on defense. People can call it a quota, people can call it a lot of things. Two tickets in a 40 hour week, and it's not a quota. Even though they're telling people this has nothing to do with raising money, we found actually Ogden did the math, converting every ticket into dollars and cents. There's no trust here. We don't even trust our own administration. So why would we expect the public to trust? This Ogden officer is just one of seven to speak with Fox 13 about how much he hated working for a police department with a ticket quota. There's no excuse for that. The department's still getting away with it. They say while they were out there trying to keep their jobs, nitpicking drivers for the smallest violations, the city was counting cash. And now emails obtained by Fox 13 prove it. What's the subject line say? 
um, subject is quota. <laughs> Each one of these emails is a public record under state law. Watch and listen while Chief Eric Young tells this version of the story to the public. It's two for a 40 hour week. That's it. Two tickets in a 40 hour week and it's not a quota. The department tells a completely different story in writing. One ticket every hour. The standard in traffic has always been one citation per street hour. So if an officer works 75 street hours, they should have a minimum of 75 citations. And these guys are a joke. This is what, this is what makes people hate us. People want to pitch it as a revenue builder. That's not it at all. We wanted to know if that was true. And then we found this email from a lieutenant describing how the chief asked him to run some numbers. How many tickets an officer would need to write to pay for themselves? Goal, have citations paid for officers' wages, benefits, equipment, and vehicle. For the chief and for the mayor to say this has nothing to do with revenue. I'm surprised that the chief's willing to go before the city council and the public and lie like that. You! You liar! The presentation goes into specific detail, and this is how the math adds up. The average ticket, 130 bucks, which means an officer would need to write 2,080 citations a year. Again, that's one ticket an hour. Emails show they're already enforcing that standard for some, and actually, those officers are exceeding it. That's a lot. This is, this is so frustrating. This is why we don't want to work for him. Chief Young says he will only do another interview with us if it's live. Do you think he has a responsibility to address this? Yes. The chief said it was important for him to go live because he didn't want his responses edited. Here's a full question and answer from our conversation. So what would your definition be for a quota? You said two tickets a week is not a quota. 75 tickets in 75 hours would not be a quota. So, so what is? According well, to we don't, well, what we have are evaluation standards. During the year, if you meet a minimum, then you're going to get a minimum uh, above average or uh, excellent score in your evaluation. You can be subpar in citations and still be above average in one other category, and your evaluation is still above average. So it's, it's only one piece of a nine-part evaluation. There is no quota that every week you've got X number of tickets to write or you're going to be held accountable for that and disciplined for that. It's just not how our department works. Were you told to write more tickets? Yes. Even though you were exceeding expectations? Yes. Do you think you're the only one? No. I've had the same stuff on my evaluations. Reporting in studio, Adam Herbetz. Bob, we'll throw it back to you. Uh, Adam, before we let you go, what is the latest from the legislature? Because I know they've been keeping their eyes on all of this as well. Yeah, we've been interviewing lawmakers all year. I think we've only found one of them that has stuck up for Ogden PD. And by the way, he used to work for the city of Ogden. Almost everyone else says, A, they need to follow the law, and B, if they continue not to follow the law, they will pass a new law, making it more clear and more strict. What exactly is that gonna look like? We're not sure yet. Of course, we'll keep an eye on that as we roll into 2024, and several lawmakers all say they have a big interest in fixing this problem. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this story.